Hey, what's up, YouTubers? T squared, T squared talk. So, I was just out and about and I made my normal run uh, to the ve vegetable place that I like to go to. A little out of breath. Bear with me, I was carrying all these big boxes full, full of stuff, but a lot of cool stuff. I'm telling you, these guys love it. A little late in the day. A little late in the day, but they'll, they'll still, they'll start eating it up and have fun with it. They love corn on the cob. But then again, they pretty much love everything, so not really big on lemons. Although there's some in here. Might even be some paper here and there. But I don't really do a, a top-notch job separating out the stuff they don't eat the first day. I let them kind of pick through it. Kind of go to town. They'll pick some stuff. They'll eat it. And then tomorrow I'll come out and probably cut it all up, what's left over. I mean, as you can see, that melon's whole. It'd probably be a whole lot easier if I would uh, cut it in half. But for now, it's the first day, so I just kind of throw it out here. They, they don't have a problem really getting at anything. They'll kind of tear this melon up. It's kind of funny to watch them pluck away at it. Once they get into the seeds and the flesh and the fruit, oh my word, they go to town. And then more will come over and they'll tear it up quick. Kind of trying to do a uh, update on it. Oh, that one's a pretty one. I hadn't, I hadn't noticed him in a little while. But I let them just do their thing, tear it up. I got rid of a couple of the roosters. Um, but they're doing good. They're doing really good. They're really starting to pound out eggs. I mean, I'm checking eggs twice a day right now. I check them in the morning. I check them in the afternoon. I'm sure there's still, I bet there's at least a couple. I already came and got them this morning. But. <laughs> I know a lot of people love the chickens, so I like doing the updates on them. And they really go to town when I put out all this food for them. They love it. Some stuff they'll eat, some stuff they won't. I mean, there's a coconut I noticed when I was dumping the boxes. I think it's right there. Probably not going to do anything. Probably not going to do anything with the coconut. But they just, this is all stuff that they would just throw away. They throw it in a landfill. They throw it in a dumpster. And uh, now that they know that I'm dedicated to coming every week, they're starting to kind of have more and more for me. Instead of throwing it in the dumpster. They kind of put it in bins, and when I get there, I just unload the bins in boxes and basically fill my truck up as much as I can carry in the tail bed. So. I wonder how that melon over there is coming. Yeah, they love, they love all this food. I almost want to break that open for them, but I like letting them work at it a little bit. It gives them something to do. Yeah, got some really nice ones. I know I get asked how many I got. I can't even get a good count on them anymore. So many of them. And such a variety of breeds. This is one of the down things that if I ever move, I'll have to start over. You can't take chickens with you um, if you move far away. So...
but they are a lot of fun. And I'll probably lose my edge on getting all my old scraps. Uh, I won't have a restaurant to do this with anymore or a food place. So that will be a downfall. He's kind of ugly, that one. And I got a, quite a mix. This is a, a beautiful mix of birds. So I'm pretty happy with that. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, you know, if you think this is pretty cool. I know a lot of people like watching. People like watching them. I need to put this uh, on a uh, tripod and just let you guys watch them for a period of time. Maybe I'll, I'll put it on a tripod and hang it upside down so it's more eye level. That'd be pretty cool. I'm always trying to come up with good ideas for videos. In fact, if anybody has any good ideas for videos, leave it in the comments. I'm always looking for good ideas. I'll give you a shout out if I use one of your ideas. Well, that's interesting. I didn't actually think they would mess with carrots. But I guess even carrots, you, wow. They're doing a number on that carrot. Look at that. I did not think they would tap into carrots. Still working that uh, melon over there. It's kind of funny too, they're greedy. If one taps into something they like, they won't let anybody else get at it. Or if anybody moves in, they'll kind of peck them. little piece of broccoli. I'm fixing to get ready to rototill. Probably this weekend I may rototill all this up. Um, just kind of do a nice over, once over. Yeah, every once in a while the roosters will fight. They are protective. I like doing this too because it kind of saves me money on food. It gives them a good variety of stuff to eat. Not just the same old protein pellets. Which do get costly over time. Um, I know people ask me, well, you kind of make out anyway because the eggs, people will take the eggs and you'll use that to buy food or you'll work out deals. It's true, but obviously uh, giving them this, anytime you can get something for free um, and it gives them a treat, it was going to go to waste anyway. Well, then I love it. So... They get, they get pretty rowdy right now, I guess, growing, especially with all the food. Well, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that like, that subscribe button, and uh, let me know what you guys think of the video. I'm trying to do more videos at least once a week with uh, kind of the homesteading, uh, the tricks that I do to kind of save money. Um, guess you could say I'm getting back to the, my roots. I mean, you know, I've been doing prepping for so long, and it almost started to seem like nothing was ever going to happen. And then all of a sudden this year happened and, and, and then it got, it got crazy 
my dog just got, got tangled up. Um, and then all of a sudden it got really crazy. And uh, it, it kind of brought me back to kind of the way I was. You know, we've been talking about silver <laughs> as an investment and possibly heavy inflation. We've been talking about it for like a year now and maybe two years. And now we're starting to really see it climb. We're seeing silver go up as a great investment. We're seeing inflation really start hitting. And it makes you think, when it happens, you're not going to get a whole lot of warning. Um, if you don't have what you need, um, it can happen in a hurry. And you can, be left, you can be left high and dry. So make preparations. You know, if you can have a few chickens. I know I'm here in Texas. We have a state law here. That even if a, a city says you can't have chickens, you're allowed to have six of them. Um, somebody actually got told they had to get rid of their chickens. And uh, it went all the way up to the Texas uh, court. And the state court, all the way up to the Capitol. And they said, yeah, someone wants six chickens. Six. Not 50. <laughs> it doesn't apply to roosters. Um, but... You know, it's at least people see the importance of being able to produce a little bit of your own food. This, once I rototill this all up, I'll use half of this chicken coop as a garden. And the very back, I'll have compost pretty much. But I don't really use a whole lot of compost. Everybody asks me, how can you have a compost pile? Because a compost pile is basically your food's just going to rot away. I can just throw it on the ground. And these guys pretty much eat everything from grass clippings to anything left over from the house. I rarely ever have anything bad. And they're always rooting, digging, moving stuff around. Um, I know I, I've gotten asked a few times, uh, how come I don't cut all the fruit up? Like I said, um, it's the first day I just let them do their thing. Um, I, got, I got company moving up to me. Let's see if she's going to... They're starting to climb up a little bit now. When, I, when I'm when i standing here quiet, they start moving up to me. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please make sure you hit that uh, like. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Help us out. Uh, we are trying to grow the channel. Um, and I love hearing y'all's comments. I really do. So, thanks for watching, everybody. And I hope to see you guys again on T-Square Talk. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.